Hello, welcome back. It's Leonard here from DetailLeonard.com and in this video, we are going to set up our TradingView account. So I'm going to walk you through the setup processes on TradingView, what is what on TradingView and how you can be able to use them. If you are into any kind of crypto trading, Forex, um, your trade stock, commodities, or you intend to, you know, um, venture into currency trading and so on, you will need trading view. You are going to need a trading view account because uh, in most, for instance, if you go to your crypto exchange, most of those um, chart platform that you see they actually are integrated or linked back to trading view. So if you must be successful when in using or trading efficiently in any of this platform, even if it is forest you are trading and you are using MT4, MT5, you still need a trading view. And you can start, the link will be in this video description with a free account actually. Though the free account limits you to a lot of things, you can only use three indicators, you can only set one alert, the whole lot of things um, that you cannot do with a free account, but you can start with a free account and start exploring this platform and see how best you can use it to you know um, improve your earnings when it comes to your forex your crypto or your stock trading so all you need to do is um, use the link in this in the description below just go and sign up for an account if you don't have one already and once you sign up for an account you should be able to log into your account so once you log into your account this is it brings you to an interface like this all you just need to do is to hover over where it says chat this is what we are going to focus on today how to use the chart on, on trading view so you just hover over the chart and when you click and hover over the chart you click on it it will bring you to an interface like this in my own case i have setups already done here by default the background on your account will be white um so i just decided or i prefer to use the black because the black back the dark background because um, because of my eye actually so that it won't be affecting my eye so when you come in here for instance if you just log into your account if I toggle this dark color off so this is what you will actually see and all of these indicators these lines you are seeing here won't be there because I just added this stuff I'm going to show you how to add indicators and the rest so um, this is what you are going to see and if you want to customize your chart actually um if you want to zoom out in and out of these candlesticks that you see here by default it equally loads up with candlestick if you want to change it from candlestick to any other um pattern you can come in here and use bars you can use all of this uh, you can use line for instance if i click line this is what you see but preferably because candlesticks are easier to read and which is the most popular thing that people use at there you just leave it on that candlesticks because this is easier to read and so on so if you want to zoom in and add you want to make this candlestick bigger all i just need to do if you are using a mouse actually if you are using a mouse you just use the scroll button on your mouse when you scroll out it zooms out your candles if you scroll in you zoom in all of this so this is how you do you be able to you know enlarge your your candles and be able to see it and you can click and drag it left and right up so you can drag it sideways left and right and then you can use your um, scroll button on your mouse to zoom in and out if you are not using a mouse actually there is this particular button here um, that says zoom in so if i click on it i'll just highlight wherever i want to zoom out i'll zoom in into this um, um, candlestick i'll just highlight it and it will zoom it out that way so when it zooms out you now see that you now have the zoom out and when you zoom in this way you now have the zoom out button showing up here so i can just keep clicking on the zoom in to keep you know um zooming in into the scandals and then i can just click on this one to zoom it out to the former stage where it was and before I come back to the drawing tools here, one thing I want to let you know in your own case, in this case, um, what you are seeing here, uh, the chart we are looking at right now um, is actually the BTC USDT chart. So here where it says BTC USDT, if I click on it, you will see um, where it says stock. If you want to trade stock, just go ahead, make sure in order to be able to see the pairs on any of these that you are going to click on, make sure that this BTC USDT is deleted here. So just press your backspace button and that will go off when it goes off 
if you are clicking on stock you see all of the um yeah, pairs that you can trade on stock if you want to trade features you see all of the pairs you can trade if it is forex you see all the pair combinations you can trade if it is cfd any of this if it is crypto just make sure that nothing is typed here actually because anything you type here will remain here whenever you open this chat so um then you see all of the pairs here if it is index yeah any of this you want just click on it and be able to uh, click for instance if i want to trade um dodge usdt and i'm not seeing it on the list here on the crypto tab here and i'm not seeing it on the list here all you just need to do is to keep typing or type dodge here you see where it says dodge usdt so if i click on it right now it takes over the btc usdt that you saw here initially but the settings when it comes to indicator your indicator will remain and any other settings that you do here will remain the only thing is the currency pair that is changing so this is how you change your currency pair you come in here and you click on it now you see that it is only dodge 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 that is showing up here the reason for this is because this dodge usdt is still here so in order to be able to see other currency pairs under the crypto tab here you just need to delete this and every other pair will come up so this is how you source out all your pairs alternatively if you don't want to be coming here always to click this and that there is what we call your watch list here this one over here if i click uh, over over it you see what it says there that watch list and details so you need to click on this when you click on this you see this is my watch list these are all the coins that i trade on a daily basis so i just put all of them on the watch list here and all i need to do if i don't want to trade dodge if i want to go back to btc usdt i just click on it and it automatically change whereas all the settings and indicators are still there if i want to trade the theorem i just click on it it will automatically change this is how you use the watch list instead of coming over here and clicking uh, you know to be able to change it so you just come in here and to add to this watch list if you want to add to this watch list these are the currency pairs i trade if i want to trade um let's say the bnb usdt and uh, it just changes but if i want to add to this list all i just need to do is to add click on the plus button here by default when you click on this watch list in your own case you are going to have a whole lot of um currencies here currencies pairs actually um right here and most cases it's going to be on the forex aspect of it so all you just need to do is to hover over any pair that you don't want and click on the x button here and it will go off any of any of this pair that you don't want just hover over it click the x um, icon here and that will go off so if you want to add more you want to customize your own custom list you just come in here to click on add and when you click on add is it from the crypto market you want to add from the forex market whatsoever you want to any of these that i click will automatically be added to the um, watch list here so if for, if for instance i don't have the matic um, added to the watch list i just click on it and you see that it will be added so once you finish adding up both from forex any of this you want to add once you finish you just close this and when you come back here you see all of the coins that you've added that they are all on your watch list so next time you just toggle this on and the watch list come up and then you can now navigate and change in between the chat that you want to actually um, start using now i'm doing this demonstration on um a demo account actually so if i want to uh, this op option that you see here the select layout um you have the option of having two layer that means you have this screen split out on this other layout you are having btc usdt on this other one you can be having a different pair you can have up to three like this you can have um, all of these different layout or the four layout here it means you have btc here you have another pair here you have another pair somewhere here and you have another pair somewhere here but i won't be able to do that in this account because it is uh, actually a free account but you can go ahead and try at the the paid version of it it costs um, um less than if you're doing yearly it's less than nine uh, ten dollars a, a month or if you're doing uh, monthly it will cost about 15 approximately 15 dollars a month so you can try that definitely if you want to do um trading effectively you need a trading via account and there is need to subscribe to their package so that you'll be able to have access a free access to do a whole lot of things here that is it about the pairs how to um, change the different pairs and then the next one here is the time frame remember when it comes to trading um, there are different time frames if i click on the arrow here you see all of these different time frames here we are from ranging from one second 
to um, the 1000 range here uh, so right now if I want to trade in seconds if I click on the one second here it means right now that you are seeing the market in seconds it means right now that every candlestick that is here every of these candlestick represent one second that means in one second this candlestick um, was created and so on that is when you want to now trading view is telling us if you must trade in one second you have to you know upgrade your account at the rest so i can't trade because it is um, actually a free account so i cannot trade in seconds but i can trade in minute if i click on it again um you see one minute two minutes three minutes so if i want to trade um see my chart in one minute it means that every candlestick here re represent one minute um time frame that means in one minute this candlestick was created and then the next minute the next candlestick was created so this is what how you use um the time frame but instead of coming in your own case you are not going to see all of this time frame listed here the way mine is listed instead of always clicking the arrow to always come and click on any time frame um in order to just put it there so that if i want to navigate between one minute five minutes um, 15 minutes one hour all i just need to do is when i click on the drop down here um hover over any time frame you want to use and just um click on this add to favorite when you click add to favorite for instance if i want to go to the 30 minutes and i click add to favorite you'll see that the 30 minutes has been added here so any of this time frame that i want to use if i want to add three hours two hours one day one week to the time frame you just click on um the button here the asterisk the star button here that says add to favorite once you click on it you see that it has been added to your favorite time frame here so next time you don't need to click on the arrow you just navigate between your time frame and it just takes you to that particular time frame on the pair that you are trading and the setup here if i want to change this back to black background when i click on the menu icon here you see where it says dark color team so you just go ahead and turn it on and that will change this to your dark team that is what i do here and then the drawing two panels make sure that this is toggled on this is the drawing two panels showing up here so make sure that it is toggled on here um, to be able to see all of these drawing tools here and toggle this auto save on the auto save means that uh, everything you are doing here all the changes that you'll be doing on your chart will be automatically saved for you so that when next you come to login all of those settings will be there for you and if you want to share, uh, share this um settings that you've done with any other person make sure the sharing button is on and to share this now all you just need to do if you make uh, make toggle this sharing button on and auto save is on whenever you are doing if it is saved you just come in here to copy the link at um the uh, address here at the address bar and just send to whoever you want to send and the person will be able to view the settings that you have done on your chat and if you want to name your chat for instance this is the chat i have here if you want to name it this is where you always see by default when you come in here you see unnamed here you are going to see your names here so if i click on the drop down here you can see where it says rename so if i want to rename this chat i can go ahead and rename the chat right here and then i click on save once i finish renaming it so if you're only showing uh, unnamed you can come in here to click here to be able to rename your chat and then the next thing i want to show us here is these are all the drawing tools that you have here if you hover over this you see where it's a trend line so on the trend line if i click on it you see all of these different trend lines you see horizontal lines vertical lines and then the trend lines you can just click on any one and you know come in here to draw your trend and see if it is actually um, an uptrend or a downtrend now by default when i draw anything here if i click on any of this drawing tool and i draw you see that it goes off so if i want to draw again i will need to come back to the trend line again and you know click and draw which um is not that good but if you want to be on a drawing mode all you need to do is to come down here to where it says um if i hover over this pencil icon that has a padlock to it it will say stay in drawing mode so if i toggle this on on the stay in drawing mode it means that if i want to draw if i click on this trend line here and i want to draw any line here i don't need to actually um click on the trend line again i can keep drawing as many um lines as i want 
if I go back here, okay, to the next one, um, and say, let's say I want to change this, and you know, click on it, I can just click and draw without even you know going back again. That is when it comes to um, using um, once you toggle this thing in drawing mode, you can draw as many of these as you want. And then, if you don't want any of this anymore, all you just need to do is um, once any of this drawing that you made is selected, just click on it. Once it is selected, you see this thing pops up, and when it pops up, you can go ahead and click on delete and that will be deleted so any of these that i want to delete if i want to delete all of these i just right click on the chart here once i right click on the chart i can say remove drawings and it will wipe out all the drawings that i have here so that is how you delete all of the drawings or is it that you just click you know draw and be, since it's selected for instance if i draw again and it's selected i just go ahead and click on delete and then come back here select this and you know click on delete or you just right click once you right click on the chart if you want to delete everything just remove drawings and that will remove the drawings so here we have the trend lines the next one here is um the gang and Fibonacci tools so you see all of these um these options i'm not going to explore all what they do in this um, chat actually in this particular video because I won't be able to explain all of this what it does and what it does because you may not be able to use all of this but there are certain ones here that are very important that you need to so all you just need to do is to know how to use that particular one and then we have um, the geometric shapes all of these geometry say if it is a rectangle you want to draw if it is a triangle you want to draw a triangle you just go ahead you know draw your triangle and you should be able to you know tweak this and because i am on drawing mode this is checked that i can draw as many as i want but if i just want to draw this once i'll make sure that i toggle this off so that i'll just draw and then once i, I finish drawing i'll be able to now you know start adjusting these ones and so on if i don't want them again right click and then remove drawings um so that is then the next one here we have text under the text i am um, choose here you can just click and any of these that you click you can go ahead and add you know once you draw you can go ahead and add your text here whatever text you want to um comment to um, let's say this chart and you just go ahead and click on yes and then this will be added here you can drag it and drop it wherever you want if you don't want it anymore you just go ahead and just delete so everything on the test icon here the here so we will have the annotation tools everything here is text any of the, these you click as you draw you can be able to you'll be able to now add description text to it and then it will appear and you can draw drag it and drop wherever you want so the next one here if i hover over it you see patterns and under patterns you have all of these different tools I, as i said earlier we are not going to explore all of this because i won't have all the time in this video but all of these options are used for different things to measure you know them analyze your chart and the next one there we have um, uh, the prediction and measurement tools here you can have your short and long position if you want to you just go ahead and draw and you can drag it and use this if you are going short you can just go ahead and use this to measure your chart wherever you want to put your stop loss you go ahead and calculate it where you want to take your profit you can just expand it and you know just drag it and drop wherever you want to use this so that is where you have the the long and all of those options are available in the predictions and you have the long you have the focus you have the date range the price range all of these options you have here you can use them and then you have this other option here which are icons you can go ahead and add any of this icon you want if it is arrow into your chart so you can add all of this icon and start tweaking them to wherever you want you can enlarge it you can just click here to change the color to wherever you want and then drag it and drop wherever you want it in your chart those are what you can use these icons for and then the next one here is the measurement you just click on it and you know use it to measure your your chart this is the measurement tool so you click here and you know draw and it will give you the measurement to tell you okay with this range this is what you are going to get 
um, in 91 bars 15 days four hours this is what this will result to or this is what we have gotten so far with this particular movement of the market that is what the measurement tool you can use it to analyze um, the market and then the zoom in and out is this icon that you have here and the next one you have here is the magnet this makes um if i toggle this off when it's toggled on all of the drawing that i draw here will actually magnet to my chart that is what this simply means and then when I, I i told you about this one to stay in drawing mode if you want to stay in drawing mode you toggle this on then all of the drawings will be doing if i click on this i don't need to go and then come back to draw again i can just go ahead and keep drawing as many as i want and if i want to lock all of the drawings that i have here so that i will mistakenly move them around i'll just go ahead and toggle this on with this even if i click on okay let me toggle this drawing mode off so with that even if i mistakenly click on any of this um if i mistakenly click on any of this once this is toggled on once this is toggled on if i mistakenly click on any of this i won't be able to move them uh, around actually um so, so that you move them out of place that is when you toggle all these drawing tools to lock it once you toggle this to lock it you go ahead and then if you don't want to see them you don't want to delete them totally all you just need to do is to click on the eye icon here so if i click on it it hides all the drawing tools and then if i click on it it comes back again let me just go ahead and unlock this and once again right click and remove drawing tools and that we go so these are all your drawing tools but this is your drawing tool panels and these are all the drawing tools that are valuable for you and you can use this to you know start managing your chart depending on what you want to use and then the next one i'm going to talk of here is uh, the indicator remember i've showed you how to toggle your chart from white to the dark um, team i've showed you how to set up your time frame i've showed you how to use the watch list here and uh, equally introduced you to the drawing tools here. the next one here is these lines that you see here these are all indicators and how do you use them how do you add indicators so to add an indicator if i hover over here where it says indicators and strategies this is what you do you click on it and once you click on it all your favorite indicators will be listed here you see all the favorite indicators that you have Will be listed here on my other account i have a lot of these indicators and you see all of them listed here on uh, so when one this simply means is that when you have any indicator you want to work with you just come in here to type the name of the indicator when you type the name of the indicator you see a lot of this coming up so if you want to use that particular indicator again and again all you just need to do once you see the indicator you want to use you go ahead and click on this um add to favorite um i click on this star that says add to favorites so when you click on it you next time when you open up this indicator panel you will see on your favorite you see all of the indicators that you have been able to add to your favorite list and you see them here instead of just coming to search you just click on the favorite and just click on the any of these indicators that i want to add to this chart i'll just click on it and automatically it will be added to my chart so i'll be able to use them and if you have paid for any indicator um to be able to pay in, integrate that you'll see all of the indicator you've paid for where it says invite only script that is where you are going to see your paid indicators in showing up here and these are all the groups of indicators you have these built-ins you have the candlestick patterns you have the public library so all of these indicators are things volume profile these are all the indicators that you can be using here and any of these that you like that you want to use just go ahead click by the side here that says add to favorite and it will be added to your favorite list so that next when you come in here you just click any of the indicator you click it will be added automatically it will be added here and then um all of your indicators will be added here and if you want to tweak or any setting on that ind indicator if i over any of these um uh, moving averages line here if i want to toggle it off i just go ahead and Put it off with the eye icon here when i click on it it shows up again click on it it toggles off if i want to adjust the setting or the colors i'll click on settings when i click on settings you see the um lens here if i want to go to the color i want to change the color you can change it to whatever color you, you want so any of these colors that i click on that is what will be showing up there for instance if i click red it changes to red if i click green it changes to green if i click blue it changes to blue so whatever color you want you can go ahead and just click on it and that will change your 
indicators color and the input is the length the the numbers there you want to the settings and the rest so you just go ahead and click ok that is how you tweak all of these your indicators and with that being said once again you come in here click on it add any indicator you want and it will be appearing here and when you hover over it you can toggle it off you can toggle it on on the settings icon you can go ahead and you know to trick your settings and if you have any source code that you want to use to adjust that particular indicator you just go ahead and click this and it will open up a panel where you can you know paste your code if you want to remove this you just click over over it click on the s icon to remove this particular indicator that you have added here so that is how you go ahead we're not talking about indicators today because the whole lot of indicators we'll be looking at in the future how to use um, some of these indicators so you go ahead and add the indicator and do the settings that is where you assess your indicators from this panel here and here is where you set your alert the first one here is the watch list the one here is where you set your alert so you just come in here to set alert and this will automatically alert you for instance if i click on edit here this will automatically alert you when you have um, a buy order or when you have a sell order or server because you will not be monitoring this chart from the morning tonight so there's need to set up alert and the alert will be the ones to notify you whenever um, a particular action is triggered you can you know send to your phone if you are using the app or send it to your email or messages as so on so this is where you set alert and then news from uh, um trading view you get them here and the next tab here you see where it says data window and then the the hot list and the calendar so you can go ahead and explore all of this but basically some of these things these are what, what the basic thing here is the time frame your indicator and then the currency pairs that you want to trade in the particular day so you can go ahead and then the drawing tools so that is how you use your trading view and the last thing that is worth mentioning here is um, for the settings that you see here, uh, these names that appear here and so on, I, if I open up this indicator, you see all of the names showing up here and the figures showing up here. If you want to tweak this, um, if you just right click here on the chart and you go to settings. So once you click on the settings and this pops up um you can just go ahead and experiment with this for instance the body color um here if i want to change this if, let me go ahead and change this green actually if i change this green to something like this you see that it changes on um the, the candlesticks as you're seeing them here so you can just go ahead and experiment with this whatever you want that is what you are as you press it whatever you do here it will you know be affected if you want to change the red if it is the red you want to change whatever color you change it to that is what you'll be seeing changing in in, in the chart down there so um and then the next thing you want to do any of this for instance if i check this you see it appear here as you can see the line that appears down here that is what this previous day uh, close price line simply means you see where the previous day close you see the line showing up there and if you want to change the color you can go ahead and change um, the color and then you can make it bolder you see that is beginning um, is bolder now you can make it bolder and if you check this off the line goes up so it it all depends on what you want any of this that you want to experiment with you go ahead and check when you check it it shows up here the same thing happens with the status line you come in here and if you want to show open market status you click on it it opens up here as you can see look, this is the market open um, status there to show up there and then if you want this one you go ahead and click on it you see all of it showing up here and any of these that you click you see it showing up let me just bring this down you see this one here when you say bad change values you just look at it that in the last uh, few hours or thereabout this is the value that bitcoin ethereum has changed to so um just go ahead whatsoever you want here if you want this option and the buy and sell um, buttons you can just go ahead and, and click that and it will pop up here and for indicator titles if you want them the EMA you are seeing here, so if I click on it, it shows the title. If I click toggle it off, the title goes off. 
so indicator arguments if you want this you can equally go ahead the arguments are the settings that you actually did if you do that you see it showing up here and then indicator values if you want them you go ahead and click and that will be added as well and then on the scale you can come in here to you know label symbols um as i'm clicking on medium normally is the price that you see the price movement as it's moving you are seeing the label symbol here this is what it shows it will not tell you that okay this is ethereum usdt so once you check it it goes off and on like that and then the symbol price if i check this off it goes off here so this is it normally it shows up here with the time frame but if you do that with the timing you actually do that it goes off so you go just go ahead and check and then this one if you want to symbol previous day close if you want that you can put it on this is equally there so these are all the options that you can come around and play with as you check them you see it popping up on your chart so you can just go ahead and check all of this if it is something you want to work with you go ahead and you know put them on and be able to use it for the appearance these are the appearance the background the way it is right now if it is gradient any of this color if it is solid color you want you go ahead and tweak your settings here and you'll be able to be, use this um, um, section actually so if you want this on you can double it on and it will appear there if you want to change the colors um, if you want to add watermark you can go ahead and add watermark um, which is the pair you are seeing here the time frame and that is what the watermark is all about so you just go ahead and and then the, the trading aspect you just go ahead and you know play with this and once you are done you just click ok and your settings will be applied to your chart so once again you come in here to settings and you can play around with all of this that you see here and when you finish your setting you can come in here to where it says template click on the template and click on save us and you go ahead and save that template so that next time when you come you don't need to start tweaking these settings any again all you just need to do is to click on the template you select the template and then click ok and the, that template will apply to any chart that you want to use if you have specific questions concerning what i have said on on, on, on on trading view you can use the comment section to actually ask your questions and then we'll address it accordingly um so basically this is the uh, basic setup of using trading view and this is how you change you know you navigate through your interface if i'm using a mouse actually you just zoom in and out using the scroll button on your mouse and if i want to scale this up and down you see this time in here the, the the ruler that we have here this is the ruler the price ruler here that we have here so if i go ahead and click and drag it down so it scale my candlestick down if I drag it up, it scales it up. So just click and drag up, it scales it up. If you drag it down, it scales it down. So that's another trick that you use the Y. Here you can drag left and right. And then if you zoom in and out with the candle, with the mouse, the screw on your mouse button, you can zoom in and out of this particular um, chart here. So that is basically what this is, um, how to use and, and do the basic setup on your trading view account. And I hope um, you gain value from this video. If there is any specific thing you need to do here that I didn't mention in this video, use the comment section and ask a question and I'll address it accordingly. So that is it for this video and I'll see you next in my next video.